Welcome to IC3D training video, Shrink. In this example, we're going to wrap shrink film around multiple items. We will start with a single item, in this case, a can of beans. We can replicate the can using the duplicate model function, in this case, producing a 2x2 pack. We will move the labels around a little to make it look more like a realistic package. Select all the cans in the object editor and drag the shrink film in over the top of them. This will open the shrink template window. The default is a vertical wrap so we will change that to a horizontal wrap. In this case, we don't know the artwork size, so we can input values in basic setup to create an artboard to fit the model. We will set a 50 millimeter overlap, and we can adjust the position of the overlap in real time in the image. In the substrate window, we need to set the default horizontal shrink wrap material. Click on the Start Simulation button. This starts the shrink process. It's important to note that the simulation will continue until you press Stop Simulation. You stop the process when you reach the desired shrink amount that simulates the real-life physical shrink film appearance. If you're not happy with the process because, perhaps, the settings for the shrink parameters were incorrect, you can stop the simulation, then click the Undo button, enter the new values, and start the simulation again. We are checking to see and make sure that the shrink process is uniform and, for example, is flat on the end parts of the shrink film. Once the process is finished, click Stop Simulation and then add the model to the scene. The shrink film layer then appears as a new material in the material editor, and its texture, color, transparency, etc. can be changed to suit. We then link to Illustrator, and all the model templates, i.e. the four bean cans, plus the shrink layer, will be imported. The final one is the shrink layer, on which we can place the artwork, and then update IC3D. This completes the IC3D training video, Shrink.